Ray Thos, a two-time All-Star and World Series champion who was famously run over by Pete Rose during the 1970 All-Star Game, died Wednesday after a bout with cancer. He was 74. Carol Foss announced her husband's death in a statement. The two were married 51 years. Ray Foss had been battling cancer for 16 years. In this July 14, 1970, file photo, the National League's Pete Rose slams into American League catcher Ray Foss to score the winning run during the 12th inning of the baseball All-Star game in Cincinnati. Looking on a third base coach Leo DeRocha and on deck batter Dick Dietz. Foss was a first round draft pick by the Cleveland Indians in 1965. He played for the Indians from 1967 to 1972 and was an all star twice in that span. He even earned MVP votes during the 1970 season. He was a Gold Glove Award winner in 1970 and 1971. In this May 26, 2015, file photo, Oakland Athletics broadcaster and former catcher Ray Foss is interviewed before a baseball game between the Athletics and the Detroit Tigers in Oakland, California. Foss, the strong-armed catcher whose career was upended when he was bowled over by Pete Rose at the 1970 All-Star Game, has died. The catcher was traded to the Oakland Athletics in 1973 and played with the franchise for three seasons before he rejoined the Indians in 1976. He would finish his career playing for the Seattle Mariners and Milwaukee Bros. He was on the A's World Series teams in 1973 and 1974. The Oakland A's are heartbroken to learn of the passing of Ray Foss the A's said in a statement. Few people epitomize what it means to be an athletic more than Ray. He was the type of franchise icon who always made sure every player, coach, colleague, and fan knew that they were part of the Oakland A's family. We send our deepest condolences to Carol, Nikki and Lindsay, his family and friends during this difficult time. We'll miss you, Ray. Broadcaster Ray Foss of the Oakland Athletics works from the press box during the game against the Chicago White Sox at Ho-Ho Camp Stadium on March 8, 2015, in Mesa, Arizona. Foss's death also caused sadness throughout the baseball world. The catcher played 12 seasons in the majors. He hit .256 with 61 home runs. In his post-retirement career, he was a broadcaster for NBC Sports California. The Associated Press contributed to this report. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.